Hello everyone, Zilber Zibonon Physics here and today guys I have some topics that are very interesting to discuss and uh, without further ado and before going to the main topic I want to show you guys an initiative from another overtaxed taxed payer and uh, basically what this initiative is about is uh, for every stacker to have an envelope and uh, to collect money with the aim of purchasing gold after some time and uh, yeah I don't have any gold in my collection and I would love to so I think this is a very very good chance for me to start getting some gold so I will put a link in the description below of the original video so you guys can go and check it out and if you like you can also join this initiative now let's have a look at our main topic. I will today speak about the German silver coins from 1933 to 1939 and mostly about the five marks. And uh, this coin has a diameter of 29 millimeters and a thickness of 2.5 millimeters with a total weight of 13.9 grams and the silver content is a 90 percenter so it has a silver content of 12.5 grams and uh, yeah it's actually a very very nice coin there are many types of these coins actually there are six the first that I don't have I cannot show you guys but I will show you a photo is the Martin Luther 5 mark coin and it is a commemorative coin for his 450th birthday it has a mintage of 200 thousands and it was produced in 1933 then we have the Friedrich von Schiller portrait the second is the coin with the profile of Friedrich von Schiller who is a German poet and philosopher he lived from 1759 and died in 1805 yeah, this coin was emitted in 1934 to mark his 175th birthday. It's even more rare because there are only 100 thousands of this coin. And uh, yeah, it has also a very interesting story about his skull. I really recommend you guys to go and check him on Wikipedia. The most famous ones are these two types. The one from 1934 to 1935 and the one from 1935 till 1939 but uh, let's see this first exemplar this is the Potsdam Garnison Church it's a baroque church built as a Calvinist church by the Pr Prussian monarch the architect is Philip Gerlach and uh, King Frederick Wilhelm I was the main supervisor and uh, sponsor for building of this church and he was also buried there and this coin was minted in six different cities and below here below the entrance of the church you can see letters from a berlin D. Munich, E. Müldenhütten, F. Stuttgart, G. Karlsruhe, and J. Hamburg. And as you can see, this one is J. I don't know if you guys can tell. So, yeah. It's a very nice coin because it's uh, totally clear and it has only the relief of the church. And in the reverse, it has. Deutsches Reich written on the top and in the bottom the denomination 5 Reichsmark and the year 1934 together with two small swastika uh, symbols and the mighty German eagle this is a very nice coin and is one of my preferred and uh, 
every time I find one, I try to bite. So, yeah. And then we have the Paul von Hindenburg. This coin was emitted in two different occasions, from 35 to 36 and from 36 to 39 with uh, changes in the reverse, I'll show you guys later. And uh, who was Paul von Hindenburg? He was an Imperial German Army guy and he was a general and uh, he served during World War I. And uh, also he was a president of Germany from 1925 till his death on 1934. There were 42 millions of these coins. And uh, yeah, he's famous because of his uh, bravery and his ability to uh, direct troops in the battlefield. And he served in the Western Front and also in the Eastern Front. Also, he's famous because in 1933, under the pressure, he assigned Adolf Hitler as a counselor, even though he didn't have enough uh, power or places in parliament to, to be a counselor. So, yeah, then, as I said, we have two different types. This one is from 35 to 36. And this one is from 36 to 39. And you can see the difference in the reverse. Let me show you better. Okay, sorry guys, the light is not so good here. Uh, I am making the video in <laughs> not my regular uh, stand. So, yeah, you can see the differences there. But the obverse is the same. I'm actually planning to get more of these coins of my plan of stacking more German junk silver. And uh, I also want to show you guys these boxes that I've made because it's very difficult for me to find the right dimension of uh, uh, tubes. So what I do, I just 3D print them. And uh, this is the tube for the 5 mark. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. Not so much move. And uh, I have made this tube to keep my silver organized. I also like the fact that I can 3D print whatever dimensions that I like. This is going to a friend of mine in our community but uh, I don't want to speak or but I don't want to tell you guys too much I'm pretty sure we will have more time to discuss about this so this is actually a 25 millimeter and it goes great for the two marks and I also have some tiny ones very small these are for the coins that I know that I cannot get too many of those and uh, coins such as this. But I want to make another video on these coins to explain you guys how I put my hands on it. And because the dimensions are very, very difficult to get, I have a tube full of those guys. Yeah, here it is. I also want to take advantage of this video to make a shout out to Austrian Stacker. Please, my friend, consider this as a shout out video. I'm afraid that I miss your giveaway. So yeah, here it is. If you didn't already subscribe to this channel, do it. I have a link in the description below about his special giveaway and I'm pretty sure you guys will like and appreciate his content. He's making uh, 
So guys, for today, that was it. Until the next time, tschüss!